Hi everyone, today I'll be making bologna burgers. What all goes into the bologna burgers? Classic bologna. I will get out my meat slicer and slice up as thick a slices as I'd like. Cheese, any type that you'd like. Mary Cole Whip or mayonnaise. Sliced tomato. Onion sliced. Hamburger buns, I'm using the onion kind. And whatever else you would like to put on your burger, you can add that. So let's begin. So I cut the bologna in half so it can fit on my slider tray. I will take this off before I move it over there and start slicing. I'm not exactly sure which level to slice it at, so I might have to do a diff couple different passes through to see which one I want. I had to find my holder here. And we remember we push against this so it don't slide around. And then you hang on to this with the other hand. I usually forget to hang on to this part. We toggle the child safety lock and start it. All right, so I think this is gonna be a good size for a burger. All right, so I'll finish that up and then we're going to put them in vacuum seal bags for the ones that I'm not going to use so we can freeze the rest of it. Have the sealing machine, it's a food saver. It is hand cut, but an electric sealer. You can get about as much as you need for four bologna slices. And put, put that in there and then cut. So there we have it. Put that down, turn it on, hit seal, stick in one end. It, okay, and then it's sealed. It flashes to tell you that it's done. Before you put in your food, put your date, 7, 12, 23, and what it is, bologna slices. Then put your product in the bag. You want to make sure there's enough room for the vacuum seal. And then you just stick that in there. And it starts. You got to make sure it's in far enough. It goes to red saying it's done, and then it'll make a noise when it releases. There we go. We can put them in the freezer. They're vacuum sealed, so they will last a long time. So take a skillet, turn it on medium, add a couple of teaspoons of coconut oil, Take your bologna slices and just cut like four little slits in them so they won't curl up. They are wide. I don't know if they will curl up or not. And I'm going to cook these two at a time because my pan's not any bigger. So cook this until it is brown on one side and then we'll flip it over. So I flip them over. They have a nice brown to them. We'll let them cook a little bit and then I will add some cheese and melt the cheese on them. So put the pepper jack cheese on there. Put the lid on there so it'll melt the cheese quicker. So the cheese is melted. I'm going to remove this and put it on a plate and cook the other two. So take an onion bun. And again, you can put whatever condiments you wanted on this. I'm going to put Miracle Whip on one side, mustard on the other side. I'm going to spread that out. Put 
Then take your fried bologna with pepper jack cheese, put that on the bottom. Put a tomato and a few pickles on it. Put on the top of the deck backwards. We'll move that over and put the top on. So here is the fried bologna burger on an onion bun. Rounding out the meal is crunchy Cheetos. Let's see what Dave thinks. Is it a bologna? Yes, it's a fried bologna burger. I haven't had that in years, but I still like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.